Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. My name is Nathan. Welcome back to Exploring the World of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Headless Horseman dungeon scenario, where we are currently in uh, Hollow's Eve, or Halloween, or whatever you want to call it in World of Warcraft. And uh, we are in the uh, cemetery graveyard in the Scarlet Monastery, where the dungeon takes place to fight the Headless Horseman. We just defeated him right over here and uh, i'm going to be showing you guys how i get out of bounds and we're going to be go exploring the surrounding area this won't be a very long video as there's not too much to see outside but it is kind of neat i'm going to be showing you how you can actually break out this was a little bit of a challenge i'll be honest with you guys because um not only did it take a minute for me to find but i was working all over this place i mean jump in here and there trying to jump through walls trying to glitch through here trying to I mean, I was all over the place and I just couldn't find it. Eventually, I stumbled upon a place to get out and I was very excited. So let's get right into it. Uh, where I'm currently at is on the very edge of the cemetery all the way here in the corner in the back. I'm on top of this fence and you want to come right over here and you actually want to be in vengeance and not havoc. There's a place right in the gate over here. It's like right up against the wall. You can actually jump inside the gate. So you can see where my cursor is right over here. So we're going to jump inside of it. And there we go. We're actually inside of the gate. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to place a uh, pillow down. If we did this correctly. You can place like a pillow down. Uh, you should be able to. It's not letting me do it now. Hold on one sec. Let's line ourselves back up over here. Oops. So it does take a minute. Man, I'm getting a lot of lag here. Goodness gracious, I don't know what's going on with my internet at the moment. Ooh, getting some latency issues here. All right, we're going to go over here. And we're actually going to jump back into the gate here, okay? And then you should be able to place... There we go. Okay, so we place the pillow down. Once you place the pillow down, you can jump on it and then just jump straight out. And there you go. Now you're out of bounds. And you can see right behind us where we currently were with the pillow. Now we're outside, which is awesome. So let's go take a look around. I'm excited, guys. Let's go see. Now you can ride mounts out here, but eventually it will cut you off. And you won't be able to ride a mount out this way. So just the heads up there. But we can jump on a mount here if we want to. So we can actually... Because it is technically... Follows end here. We're gonna jump on our broom. There we go. Check that out. Oh, and we lost our mount. <laughs> so it's that quick. Now, as you can see, when we come out here, there is all of the uh, dungeon that they do keep on the other side here. So uh, that's pretty awesome. They do keep the cathedral area, which is now you know connected to the graveyard. But as you can see, there's also a door that is blocking that area. So you're not able to actually ever get over here, but they do keep this and we're going to go explore that here in a minute, but let's go take a look around outside for a little bit. And I want to show you guys the surrounding area and to show you what is exactly out here. Now, if you guys ever watched my Scarlet Monastery video, you know that all of the dungeons in the Scarlet Monastery is actually connected. Uh, so they're all, all of them are connected to the halls. Well, I know the older ones are. I don't know about the newer ones, but I know the older Scarlet Monastery dungeons are connected. And so if you actually break outside of the map in, I believe, the library or the halls or whatever, you'll actually be able to go to any of the other dungeons. And you can just walk across the map outside, like you'll see out here, and then you can jump into one of the other dungeons, which is really awesome. But as you guys can see, they only take the new part of the Scarlet Monastery, which is connected with the, you know, the cathedral, and then you have the graveyard. And you can see that there's really nothing outside the map. It's kind of a lot of just smoke and mirror effect that Blizzard's doing. And if I actually drink a, uh, let's say a stinky bright potion out here, nothing changes either. The sky stays the same. They really keep that uh, Headless Horseman, like, spooky atmosphere out here, which I thought Blizzard did a great job with that. Because you don't want to ruin the halloween vibes of drinking that all right let's go take a look at this way and let's go walk out now unfortunately because we are in 
Uh, we're actually in the dungeon area now of Scarlet Monastery. We're actually not able to ride him out. So that kind of sucks. And I'm actually going to switch back to Havoc as well. Just in case we fall through the map or something, I want to be able to catch myself. You just never know when you're doing out of bounds stuff. You guys know you can fall. Hope you guys like my get up. Kind of sporting a uh, scarecrow with a pumpkin head look going on here. And I'm super excited about the scarecrow out because scarecrow is my favorite villain in Batman. So <laughs> one of the reasons I actually got into League of Legends too was because of fiddlesticks. If you guys all remember the old fiddlesticks. The OG fiddlesticks, I should say. So right now we are directly under the cathedral where you actually fight the last boss in that area. And you can see that they do keep everything outside here. Now we are too far under the map to jump back in. So what we would have to do is jump up here and then we can actually get back inside the map over there. But I want to go see if there's anything out here. Oh, that's kind of a trip. Look at everything's kind of loading in. Uh, as we walk up to it, just kind of weird. Look at this. Oh, that's a trip. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it loaded in. I wonder if it just didn't load in because we were too far out. Oh, look at now everything's kind of deloaded now too. But if we walk over this way, everything's going to start to load in. All right. Well, that kind of worked out. Uh, it's kind of sad thing here too is there actually is no music out here, so it's very just spooky and not alive. All right, let's go back into the map here. I want to go show you guys the entrance. Oh, there we go. We, okay, now we got some music. And now it stopped. <laughs> Just for a second, it was playing music there. But I want to go take a look over here. I want to go show you guys the entrance to the graveyard. And kind of where you come inside uh, of the dungeon that you normally would. So if we come over here, we're going to go through the wall. We do got to be careful because we don't want to go back and bounds here. There we go. So here goes actually the entrance here. It's kind of hard to see, but there's the entrance to the dungeon and you can actually fall straight down into there and then you will DC. So just a head warning. Uh, if you try to get out, if you get out of the map and you try to go in some of these underground areas, you will just fall through them and uh, you'll actually just completely go through the map and you'll have to open up a, uh, or do the unstuck feature with Blizzard. This is one of my favorite shots and it's outside of this dungeon. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Kind of gives like this light effect, but I think that's just supposed to be like mist or fog. But I, I don't know. I thought they did a great job with that, but I love that shot right here. I'm going to take a screenshot actually. Save it for my collection. All right, let's keep going forward. This is really spooky. So if you ever wanted to shoot like, I don't know, like scary, scary role, role play or like, you know, an RP server, this is a good place to come out here. So here goes the underside of the background scenery right here. And as you can see, there's actually nothing under it either. All right, let's go head back this way. Let's go jump actually back in bounds. We're going to go over into the cathedral area and I'll go show you guys exactly what they keep over there. Let's make our way out this way. And I th think we can mount back up, can we? No, not yet. If we come over here, I think we can. Yeah, no, okay. We did for a second. <laughs> it's like we have to be in that. There we go. Now we can mount back up. This mount is like perfect for Halloween, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so they do keep this area here. Now we can actually jump back into bounds right here. And there we go. Now we're in like the courtyard cathedral area. Check out that. So let's actually go ahead up here. And they do keep the whole cathedral. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get through these doors, but I'm assuming what I could do is just jump up here and then get inside the cathedral area. But if you guys can see here, they do keep it all in there. Kind of just poking my camera in there. I could probably get in if I really wanted to, but I'm okay right now. You know, if you guys run Scarlet Monastery, 
It's just, you know, the regular dungeon. So now let's go ahead back here real quick. Oh, we just went straight through the doorway there. <laughs> that was kind of a trip. Man, we really just went straight through there, didn't we? And you can see here, here's the hallway. If we come back here, this is actually where the door that's blocking you off is back into the graveyard area. So, yeah, pretty neat. But they do block this off. I'll let you guys know and kind of spoiler warning. They don't keep anything down here. This is just like a uh, hallway. Um, what do you call it? A uh, smoke and mirror hallway. So if you actually get out of bounds like we did earlier and you jump down into here, this is all not walkable. You'll just fall through the map. So do be careful there. If you're going to try to break out of bounds and you'll end up falling through the map and then you'll DC, but, but that's it guys. That's really what's outside the headless horseman scenario. I thought that was kind of neat to see. I mean, you know, it is just the normal, um, the updated Scarlet monastery dungeon, but I don't know. I thought it was kind of neat though. And there we go. So, all right guys, well, I'm going to end the video here. I want to say thank you so much for always supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute bestest. And, uh, you know, thank you for all the subs and everything and all the comments. You guys are the best. And I just have to say thank you for all that you guys do. It's pretty neat to kind of see these out of bounds side of this map. I mean, even though it is the Scarlet Monastery, it is really neat to just see what Blizzard actually keeps outside of the scenario. And, uh, I don't know. I had a good time with this. So if you want to come check it out, I highly recommend that you do. And, uh, now you guys know how to break out. So, all right, guys. Well, as always, my name is Nathan. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.